Hey everybody, this is the Wargaming Guy, Louie, back with you again in the middle of a turn. If you missed the last video, go back and watch it. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. You can see we've expanded our bridgehead here in uh, England. Things are going a little bit better. This poor guy, I'm afraid, is dead. I've actually had to pull back, so I told you when I put him in there it was stupid, and I just didn't even know how stupid, uh, but there you go. All right, we're going to pull this guy from Paris, which is not in danger down here. And as you can see, we need more units, but we are pushing the British back. Meanwhile, in North Africa, oh, well, another meanwhile, the, uh, might as well tell you just in case you're not here. Oops, wrong tab. Come on. Diplomacy. Look at that. 85% USSR. America, 87% because we're doing better in England, so that means that probably at the end of this turn or the beginning of next turn, they're both coming in. So unfortunately, uh, I'm not keeping Russia out as long as I would like, but that's probably just not possible, so there you go. All right, so we're gonna start the campaign against Tobruk. The big question, of course, is, um, what do you do? Rommel faced this. Now, this has been very ahistorical up to this point, but now we're, we're, we're facing that historical question. Do you push on with Tobruk there messing your supply line up, or do you stop and give the British a chance to build up? And look at all this. Look at all this. They've got an uh, engineer unit there. And build up their, supply, or their defenses and supplies even more while you, you know, take Tobruk. So it's a tough question. Let's see, they've got no air power here. So, oh, look at that. So we'll see, we're not only hurting them that way, but we're, let's see what his entrenchment is. Zero, morale 22, excellent, okay. We might be able to take him this turn. Two, that's good. This guy can't do anything, I'll tell you what. No, let's let this guy come up. He hasn't done anything yet, and he is going to take Tobruk. Oh, beautiful. Such a thing of beauty, my friends. Tobruk falls, and he's going to advance. The Italians are going to take it, because they're going to be manning it, of course. Gonna pull their armor up, get their infantry moving. We're going to reinforce this guy because we'll probably put him in Tobruk. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move up. For sure we're gonna move you. Well, wait a minute, will you move? Yeah, good. So get our headquarters up. Get our air power up. It's important to keep all these things with you. Watch your supply levels and all that. Um, bam, we'll go there. All right, now the question is, where are the British? This is where you can do several things. One is you can take your little, I forgot, boom, take that. And look at that, he stays there. What happens? You know what? He's probably going to swing around. So, oop, there's the battleship. Well, that just really didn't go very well. I'm not having a lot of luck with the Italian Navy. Have you noticed that? So I'm not sending you guys out anywhere until we get you. Why, aren't, why won't he reinforce? Is that all the strength stronger he can get? Let's see. Max, that's apparently it. I wonder if I send him home, if he'd have better luck. Uh, what'd he hit? What'd he hit? Oh, jeez. Oh, well, now, see, things are out of control, and I'm letting happen exactly what I didn't want. Well, at least he was smart enough to go to a port, so, all right, forget that. We're leaving that alone, and we're going to come down to Mercer Matruth. Don't see anything there. Wait, there is no way there cannot be, hold on, what's my supply situation? Looks. Uh, look at that, they're all zeros. Uh, next turn... So it's going to take a while to get supply up there. It's tempting to go forward one, but 
We're just going to have to wait. Okay, well, man, that's pretty good. Over here, can I reinforce any of these? Well, I don't have any points, so I guess I can't. Um, come on, cross the stupid river. Don't go up there. Why do I... Well... Should I pull him out? I think I will, actually. Oops. Tell you where you need it. It's right here. Yeah. Let's put two subs there. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's declaration of war time, folks. Not in a good way. Yep, here we go. Prepares for war. That means they'll come in now or at the end of this turn or next turn at the absolute latest. Germany develops. Okay, that's good. Uh, not too bad. Well, nothing on the Russians yet, but they could do this by the end of the turn. Sorry, I hit the mic there. Don't know if you heard it, but co-axis coup in Iraq. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, here we go. Iraq joins the Axis for all the good that's going to do me, unless the Brits don't put a unit down there, which I'm pretty sure they just did. Yes, they did. So we'll see if they pull it out or take it forward. It's going to take me a little while to have anything to send over there to help them, that's for sure. Mm, okay, we ought to be able to take out that garrison unit. And uh, look at that. There is something about this part of the map here where you see the British HQ, and a lot of times you'll see air units be put in the Oasis. I, I, don't, I, I don't know why, but it's just really weird. And they're going to attack my little subby. Come on, dude. Dive. Evade. Live to fight another day. This should be the motto of the Italian Navy. Run away, live to fight. How did that happen? How did he just go through my guy? <laughs> I didn't think they could do that. Now he's right where I really don't want him to be. Urgh. Okay. Bam. Mm, it's down to four in terms of air power. That CV, and the ship is up to 10. So, yeah, he's just about done as far as air power goes. Yep. But my sub's just about done, too. Yeah, uh, here we go. Bye-bye. Dope, I told you to go for the port. Oh, great, here comes the battleship. Good, hurt him, hurt him, hurt him. You're supposed to attack him, I thought. No? Okay. And, oh, they got a point off me, dirty little. And sub against my battleship. Great. Thought I was the one that's supposed to have the sneaky subs. Apparently, oops, not. Come on, retreat. Retreat into the port. Retreat into Cherbourg. Retreat. There's the port. Oh, you. Don't cough. Well, that certainly puts me in a bad place. Looks like they have got control of the uh, channel now. Holy moly. Especially if England, I mean if England, if, if Russia comes in. <laughs> oh, crap. That's bad. That is bad, my friends. Very bad. Uh, look at that. That's interesting. I could just get Bristol. I, you know, I, I'm so close to London. Of course, you always want to take London. They've got an army in London. Uh, but we can pound him down enough. Take that. You take London. They move the uh, headquarters. Or headquarters. They move their capital. Okay. Well, geez, I have no idea what's happening now. Well, we'll wait and see.
I would, of course, love to take London. Certainly, very quickly. Destroyer bases, yep. German U-boat, yay. USA mobilizes for war. They're in. Yeah, uh, told ya. USA declares war on us way before Pearl Harbor. Yeah, that's just what I don't want to hear. Yep. And... Calculating supply. Yep. Battleships. Okay. Yes, I know all about your destroyers. Raiding U.S. coastal shipping. I have bigger problems than that. Italian embassy reports that needs weapon and support. The Italians are reporting to send some aid. Um... Yeah, go ahead, send some support. Good. What I want to see, oops. Here it comes. Yeah, it's just a matter of time, matter of few seconds. The USSR has joined the, uh, it's advisable. Yes, I definitely want that expeditionary force. <laughs> I know it's the Italians. You may be thinking they're not much, and they're not, but they're bodies, and they help fill spaces, and that. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and um, restart this thing. Uh, the game locked up on me, folks. So I'm having to redo this turn, September 2nd, from the very start of my part of the turn, which is frustrating because we took Bristol and it was a very near-run thing. And now, <laughs> I don't know if I can redo that. Oh, so that's not a lot of fun. All right, well... We'll just have to make the best of it and hope it works out. It's too bad because that turn actually worked pretty well for us. Um, well, let's just see what we can do. Um, first of all, we also wiped this guy out. And we took that guy out too, I think. So hold on. Wait a minute. Let's just start here. I hate having to redo turns because, you know, they never come out the way you want them to. Oops, there we go. Enemy contact. Sub to subs, no big deal. Good. Took him down. That actually happened easier than it did the first time. So it's four. That's four. All right. Boom. And boom. Okay. So there we go with that. Um, yeah, that's obviously not going to happen. Okay, what we're going to do, I want to focus, oh, we can't even reach. Let's wait. I want to focus everything over here and hope we get generally the same outcome as we did before. You don't always in this game, but this is really important, so please... <laughs> Uh, only one. I, I think I did better last time, but whatever. Two. Yeah, we need to get at least two. I would like to get more. Okay, we're going to drop you on them. No. Oh, that's bad. Come on. Give me three. Give me three. Give me three. Okay, so that would be two. That would be three. That would be three. Boom. Boom. Oh, all right. This will actually turn out, I think, to be even better, assuming this works. It did. Wham. Okay. Very good. Now, um, what we got over here is this guy, and I think we can take him down. Or not. Whoa, I'm a little surprised about that. Oh, yeah. Bam. Okay. Let's go. Um, which way should I stay open? Yeah, he's just like, you know what? Hold on a minute. Let's look at our supply. Ooh, it's only four there. It's zero there? Ouch. But taking this as a secondary supply source might help me next turn. That's the 
possibilities for next turn. See, we're getting out here. It's getting pretty edgy. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to do it. That's all there is to it. Because um, I can't just leave that open. So these guys have all been used, right? So I can't hit them with anything. Okay. Um, yeah, we're transporting. Now, last something I didn't do last turn, which I regretted. So one little advantage I'm getting, I guess, from uh, having to play this over is that. So you know what? Yeah, let's do it. I should have checked supply level. Ooh, four. Not good. Not good. Oh well, I did it, so can't can't undo it. <laughs> At least not right now. Let's get these guys up here. Uh, yeah, you need to be upgraded. I'm upgrading you before I send you over, just to make sure. There we go. Now down in North Africa. Is this? Wait a minute. Okay, so we can go ahead and, yeah, let him tangle with you. See if we can get this uh, HQ unit, which is O'Connor. The only reason I know that, of course, is because I've attacked it before. Oh, he can't reach it. He can't reach it. He can reach it. Boom. Or, okay, so, boom, good. Now, have I got any more movement? Good, I'll drive back down here. I'm taking this. Can I get any further? No. Go up on here. When I get, oh, wait, yes, I definitely want, well, if I can hurt him, why not? There you go. Uh, does that change this? No, can I swap him over? Yes. I didn't do this last turn. Nice. Ooh, I took some took some losses though. Not so nice. All right, let's get you up here. Let's get you here. We got to get as much as we can down there as fast as we can. There we go. There we oops. Nope. That's it, as far as we can go. I'll get you out of the way for now. Pull you down. I need to see about advancing the Air Force as much as possible, keeping it where hopefully the supplies will be good. That's really important for everybody, but especially for the Air Force. All right, so it is September 2nd, 1941. A date, which will... No, never mind. Anyway, as you can see, we've reached El Alamein. We've pierced... Uh, well, not pierced, actually. We're right up against the first line of, of defenses. I don't know what's back here. I would love to know. I don't suppose. No. Um, let's put you forward, because I'm going to find out what's back here. And uh, I've got all these points to spend, but right now, because of what happened... The game freezing. It's like totally messed me up in terms of what's going on. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I don't know how long or short that'll be because I haven't, you know, looked at the other one. And I'm going to have to cut the last part of that off and put this in and blah, blah, blah. But um, I did want to check one thing. Look at that. Supply of 12, morale of 90, and entrenchment of 4 out of 5. That's going to take some doing, boys and girls, but that's what I want to do next besides kind of shore this up, and I'd love to get rid of these guys, but if we can nail London, we're really going to do something. Let's take a look. British morale is 79% compared to Italy's morale is 84 and mine's 107. French don't count. U.S., of course, is going to be at least 100. The Russians, they just, yeah, 100 so I'm going to stop right here, and we're going to come back to the game later. So this is Louie, the Wargaming Guy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry about the glitch, but it appears to have worked out fairly well. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.